A friend of mine told me the other day, your recipes use like 1,000 Indian spices. How is someone supposed to cook that? Really? Okay, okay, I'm going to make your life easy. If you find cooking Indian food intimidating, today's recipe is going to be with store-bought chicken masala, turmeric powder, and red chili powder. No matter what brand of chicken masala you buy, they have so many different spices in it that that itself would make a great tasting dish. Let's get started. Set a pan on medium heat and add 3 tablespoons oil. Next, we're going to add 3 tablespoons of finely chopped onion. Not too many onions on a keto diet. We're going to add a pinch of salt so the onions cook faster. We're going to stir fry the onions for about a minute or so or until they start to look translucent. At this point, we're going to add 1 tablespoon of freshly crushed ginger and garlic. Try not to use the store-bought paste, guys. This is going to taste so much better. We are going to stir fry this for another minute or until the onions start to look slightly golden brown in color. Now we are going to add a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and two teaspoons of any store-bought chicken masala. At this point, we are going to turn down the heat and we are going to fry the spices along with the onions and ginger and garlic for one minute. But if you feel like the pan is too hot and the spices are going to burn, just splash a little bit of water and continue to stir. You can do that about two to three times, but just make sure that the spices don't burn. But guys, fry the spices well because that brings the taste and the aromas out. Next, we're going to add a small tomato and two teaspoons of any red chili powder that you prefer. I'm using the Kashmiri version because this is not too hot, but you can use normal red chili powder or cayenne pepper or, or whatever you prefer. We're going to stir fry the tomatoes till they turn mushy. And as you keep stirring the tomatoes, you'll see that they start to ooze out some oil. At this point, we're going to add in our chicken pieces. This is 400 grams of chicken thighs. On this, I'm adding another teaspoon of that same chicken masala. Now it's time to turn up the heat to medium again and we are going to stir fry the chicken with all the spices for 5 minutes at least. This is already starting to smell so good. Now we are going to add in half a cup of water, some salt to taste, give that a quick stir and we are going to place the lid on till the chicken cooks through. If you're using boneless chicken, this should not take more than 5 minutes to cook through. Let's take a look. The chicken feels nice and tender. You can keep simmering to reduce the gravy to the consistency that you like. I like it this way. Let's give it a taste, add some more salt if needed. If not, add some coriander leaves, mix it in with the gravy, let it simmer for another 30 seconds and when you're ready to serve, sprinkle some more fresh coriander leaves and your super easy and delicious chicken curry is ready.